What if I told you that you could cut way down on the amount of voice chats on your server and yet have way more at the same time? I know, it doesn't make sense, but that's the beauty of temporary voice chats and I'm going to show you how to make them. Not only do they make your channel list smaller, they also allow your members to create any voice chat they want without being limited by the ones you've set up. And once they're done and they leave the voice chat, it will clean up after itself. Pretty neat, isn't it? Well, quite literally. So, why don't we go and set one up? Alright, here I am in my server. First thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to invite a bot. This bot is going to make all this possible. So let's go to our browser and let's search up Voice Master. There are multiple bots you can use that do the exact same thing. But this is the one I like to use. It's really reliable. I've not run into any problems with it, at least not in the past few years. So let's go to this website here, voicemaster.xyz. And let's click the invite now button. And we're here now. So let's select our server. There we go. Click continue. Now, so we don't have to worry about messing any permissions up, we can just keep all these activated here. So let's authorize that. And back into Discord we go. It's made itself an introduction. There we go. So they've got a nice guide right here, but we don't need that. So I'm gonna go into my commands channel and actually the bot does not have access to this channel. So let's just type voice master, add the bot here and enable the view channel permission. And obviously make sure it can send messages in this channel. So first things first, what we're gonna do is go to the plus down here and click use apps or type a forward slash and type slash setup space default. Now you'll get two options here. Do you want users to be able to modify the temporary channels? So there's a lot of customization you can do with this bot. You can customize the voice name, how many people can access your channel, or if it's going to be a private one, a bunch of stuff like that. So if you want people to be able to customize their own channels, set this to true. I'm just going to go with that. Okay, and press enter. Setup is complete and it will be somewhere. Okay, put it right at the bottom here for me. It made its own category, so I'm going to delete the category. Don't worry, it won't delete the channel. It's going to go all the way up here. Now I'm actually just going to put this in the voice chat category. So any day now. All right, it's going to come up with this. I'm just going to keep current permissions because we set it up through the command. It's going to have all the ones it needs. OK, so we've got this right here. Before we actually do anything, I'm going to make this look a bit nicer because we don't keep things basic around here. So I'm going to paste this name that I've got right here. I like that. So save changes that will guide the user to basically say that when they click this button here, it will create their channel and let's see how it works. So let's click it. And just like that, it's going to send me to a custom voice channel. Now, I'm not sure what this will say by default, but I've got a custom name here, so that's why it's called this. It won't say this for you. And as you can see, if I disconnect, just like that, it will disappear. So really clean right there. Now, we're actually going to customize this in a bit, but the whole point of this bot is it will help you clean up your channel list. As you can see here, I've got three chat channels, three music channels, and three gaming channels. However, we don't need all these. You can go to the extreme and delete all these channels right here, but I think it's a good idea to have a few preset channels. I'm just going to keep these right here, so chat, music, and gaming. So let's actually go and customize this. So let's go over to the commands channel and there's quite a few things we can do with this. So let's type forward slash and let's click voice master over here. That will show all the bot commands here. And there's quite a lot. One you may want to look at is set the bitrate of the channels. You can set a voice commands channel. And there's another bitrate command down here. The one I just went over was the default bitrate when anyone makes a channel. But this one here will be for this channel specifically in case I want to change it on the go. You can even set the name of the channel for the game you're playing, which is quite nice. There's this voice limit option here, which will limit how many people can join your channel. If you set it to one, it will just be you. You can blacklist people from joining your channel. Now, obviously, as a member, you probably won't have access to this edit channel button here, which is where you change the name and all that. But if you let the user customize their channel when we set it up earlier, what we can do is we can go to voice name here. Let's click that and let's type whatever we want here. So this will be what the user types. This is not you as the administrator typing this. Let's say a member from your server creates a channel. They'll be able to customize the name of their channel. So that's what I did to get this name here. So I'm going to type, for example, hanging out and I'm going to send that. And what that will do, as you can see, it will update the name over here. And a beautiful thing is if I disconnect, it will delete. And then if I create another channel, as you can see, it's retained the name. So that allows your members to customize the name of the channel without giving them permission to actually edit the channel, which you wouldn't want. So what do you think? I think it's pretty nice, but there's just one more thing we can do to make our server even better. Find out how with this video here. But before you watch that, check out my high quality collection of all the emojis, roll icons and headers you will ever need to make a breathtaking server at anode.gumroad.com slash al slash assets. Oh yeah, there's a free option too.